In this tutorial, we are going to learn about avial tree. So here, this tree is also called as Adelson Hillskill and Landis tree. So this avial tree is a binary search tree with balance condition minus 1, 0, 1. So these three values are also called as balance factor value. So there are three balance factor value minus 1, 0, 1. So for every node, we have to find out the balance factor value. If the balance factor value is less than minus 1 or greater than 1, if the balance factor of any node in the avial tree becomes less than minus 1 or greater than 1, then the tree has to be balanced by making either single rotation or double rotation. So here this tree is high balanced tree. So no node should have the balance factor value less than minus 1 or greater than 1. So if the value is lesser than minus 1 and or greater than 1, then the tree has to be balanced. So the balance factor can be calculated by using this formula height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. So for it, uh, so if you go to single rotation after doing single rotation, so we have to find out the balance factor value after doing double rotation. Also we have to find out the balance factor value. So here we need to know when we have to apply this single rotation and when we have to apply the double rotation. So here for that also there are four cases. Four cases. So the case one is here there are four cases and insertion into the left subtree of the left child of node alpha the case 2 is an insertion into the right subtree of the left child of node alpha the case 3 is an insertion into the left subtree of the right child of node alpha the fourth case is an insertion into the right subtree of the right child of alpha child of node alpha so now this case 1 case 1 and case if these two cases arise, then we have to apply single rotation. So if the if case two and case three arises, then we have to apply double rotation. Double rotation. So see here, so the first case is an insertion into the left subtree of the left subtree of the left child. So this rotation is called as LL rotation. So the case 1 rotation is called as LL rotation, case 2. An insertion into the right subtree of the left child of node alpha. So this rotation is called as RL rotation. The third case, an insertion into the left subtree of the right child of node alpha. So this rotation is called as LR rotation. Case 4, an insertion into the right subtree of the right child of node alpha. This rotation is called as RR rotation. So now we are going to construct the avial tree by using these elements. So this avial tree is the binary search tree. So we have to check that binary search tree condition also in this avial tree while constructing this one. So first element is 2. So that 2 is the this 2 is the root node. So we have to draw like this. Then the second element is 5. So we have to combine this 5 with this root. So this 5 is greater than this 2. So we have to place this 5 here. After placing this 5, you have to find out the balance factor value. So the, in this, for this 5, there is no left side subtree and there is no right subtree. So the balance factor value is 0. So for this one, the, there is no left subtree. Uh, there is no 0. Height of the left subtree is 0. Height of the right subtree is 1. 
So the unbalanced factor is minus 1. So now the balance factor, so this 2, this 2 is having minus 1, the 5 is having 0. So no need to do, no need to go for any uh, rotation because the balance factor value minus 1, 0, 1, 1, these 3 values only exist in this tree. So now we are going to insert element 4. This 4 is combined with this root node. 4 is combined with this root node. 4 is greater than this 2. Then we have to go here. Check 4 with this 5. 4 is lesser than this 5. So we have to put this 4 here. After putting, after placing this 4, we now the balance factor value will be changed. So we have to calculate the balance factor value once again. So here there is no left subtree and right subtree, balance factor value is 0. So here the height of the left subtree is 1, right no, 1 minus 0 is 1, so 1. Now here, so left subtree height is 0, right subtree height is 1, 2, minus 2. So now the balance factor of this loop is 2. So now what will happen is now the tree becomes imbalanced. So we have to make this tree as balanced tree. So for that we have to go for either simple rotation. We have to go either single rotation or double rotation. Now we have to check which rotation we have to apply here. So here we have inserted the element 4. So that time only this tree becomes imbal imbalanced. So now an insertion into the right subtree of the left child. The right subtree of the left child of node all four. So now this rotation is called as oral rotation. So here the easy way to do this oral rotation in this tree is what we have to do is so we first we have to arrange these three elements to in a sorted two, four, five. Here the middle element is four. So what we have to do is this four we have to construct the tree like this. Four is the root node. Then the left child is two. Then the right child is five. So after doing the sorted rotation, we will be getting the tree like this. Now the balance factor value 0, 0, height of the left subtree is 1, height of the right subtree is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So now this tree becomes balanced. Before applying this rotation, the tree was imbalanced. After applying, so this is the simple trick to apply oral rotation. For every rotation, this is the uh, the, uh, like that we you, you have to perform the rotation then we are going to insert the element 6 so 6 is combined with this 4 so 6 is greater we have to come here again 6 is greater than this 5 so place this 6 here place this 6 here so now after inserting this one balance factor value will be changed so here 0 only here 0 the subtree is 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so 1 minus 1, 2, 2. Answer is minus 1. So now also this tree is balanced because 0 minus 1 only. Balance factor value only exists in this tree. So now we are going to insert 7. 7 is greater than this 4. 7 is greater than this 5. 7 is greater than this 6. So 7 is placed here. Now find out the balance. Now balance factor changes. Balance factor values are changed. Find out the balance factor here 0, 0 minus 1, minus 1, 0 minus 2, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 2, 3. So answer is minus 2. So now, so here this tree becomes imbalanced. So we have to come from bottom. So here this tree becomes imbalanced because of this node because this node is having the value minus 2 that is it is lesser than this minus 1 so it should not be 
there that minus 2 value should not be there in that tree so the balance factor value only should be minus 1 0 1 now we have got minus 2 so because of this value this tree is in balance so we have to make this tree as balanced tree so no need to bother about this one we have to come from down so here so this tree we have to apply the rotation here right side tree of the right child of node alpha so r r rotation here we have applied r rotation there we are going to apply r r rotation here also we have to arrange these three elements 5 6 7 so the middle element is 6 so what we have to do is so now 4 will be in that same place 2 same place here only the changes will be up here so root is 6 left child is 5 right child is 7 so now 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 2 maximum height of the right side 1 minus 2 is minus 1 how this tree becomes balanced so after applying R rotation we have got this tree so now the next element is 9 so we are going to insert this 9 here 9 is greater than 4 9 is greater than 6 9 greater than 6 we have to go here greater than the 7 so we have to place 9 here after inserting 9 the balance factor value will be changed so here 0 0 minus 1 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 so here 0 1 minus 1 2 3 minus 2 so answer is minus 2 now if you look at this tree when you be inserting this 9 so this root node becomes imbalanced so root mode into root node, we have got the balance factor value minus 2. So now this tree is imbalanced. So we have to make this tree as balanced one. So now if you go from down, so this is the so here in this case an insertion into the right subtree of the right child of node. So here only insertion happens. So we have to consider these three more for doing rotation. So here also we have to perform R R rotation. So now same thing 4, 6, 7. So here 6 is the root. 6 is the root. Up. Then the left child is 4. Right child is 7. Then, so left of 4 is 2, then the right of 7 is 9, then this 5. So where we have to keep this 5 is 5, so we cannot go 6 or uh, the left of 6 is 5. Keep. So, but it is greater than this 4, so we should be placed. Now find out the balance factor value for this 2 0 0 0 here 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 0 <coughs> now this tree is balanced so now we are going to insert this 8 element it is 8 is greater than the 6 go here 8 is greater than 7 but 8 is lesser than this 9 so keep 8 here now the balance factor value will be changed. So for this 8, 0, for this 9, 1, for this 7, 0, minus 2, for this 6, 2, minus 3 is minus 1. So now here this 3 is imbalanced because of this node. Because this node is having the balance factor value minus 2. We have to make this tree as balanced tree. So we have to go for any one of the rotation. So this tree, this node becomes imbalanced because of because of inserting 
a node in the right subtree of the left chain. Right subtree of the left chain. So R and left chain. So here what we have to do is three elements. So arrange that element seven, eight, nine. So eight is the root node. So here only changed occur. So here only changed will happen. So the root node is eight. Left child is seven. Right child is eight. So if you find out the balance factor value. So all the nodes balance factor value will be zero. There is no need to do any rotation because all the nodes are having the balance factor value. Now we are going to insert element 3. 3 is lesser than the 6. 3 is lesser than this 4. So we have to come here but 3 is greater than this 2. We have to keep 3 here. Find out the balance factor value 0, minus 1, now 2. So the 2 minus 1 is 1. So here 3 minus 2 is 1. After inserting 3, so there is no need to do any rotation because all the nodes are having the balance factor value. Now we are going to insert the element 1. 1 is lesser than 6. Come here, 1 is lesser than this 4. Come here, 1 is lesser than this 2. Okay, 1 here. Balance factor is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. So now also, this tree is balanced 1 only because all the nodes are having the balance factor value only. Now, the last element that is 10, we are going to insert the code. So 10 is greater than 6, greater than 8, greater than 10. So after doing, after performing insertion, find out the balance factor value. After finding out the balance factor value, we have got this. So in this tree also, all the nodes are having the balance factor value 0, 1, minus 1 only. So this tree is considered as the balanced tree. So this is the final.